object. Yeah, this is my curriculum by the disclosure. Now let's talk about the transformed endoscopic lumbar disectomy. First of all, uh, we should consider the justification of why we should do a transformer endoscopic disectomy. Endoscopic uh, spinal surgery begins in the first generation of transformer endoscopic lumbar intervaric fusion uh, uh, disectomy passing through the second generation of intra uh, lumbar disectomy, the third generation of uh, stainless endoscopic compression and the fourth generation of endoscopic intervaric fusion. Uh, this endoscopic uh, spinal surgery begins in the transformal endoscopic lumbar disectomy. In addition, transformal endoscopic lumbar disectomy is the mostly suitable for a minimally invasive spinal surgery pursued by endoscopic spinal surgery. According to my paper published in 2018 pain position, it, it is a report that 96% uh, good to excellent result can be obtained when all herniated lumbar disc patients who need surgery are treated through endoscopic spinal surgery. Also this year, Dr. Chen performed a meta-analysis related to complication of open surgery and endoscopic spinal surgery for lumbar disc herniation and reported PLD has a less complication uh, than open surgery. In response, Professor Jin Sang uh, Kim says that, uh, sorry, says that uh, uh, standard for lumbar disc herniation surgery has finally changed to endoscopic spinal surgery. Yes, sorry. Uh, this my paper is a paper that analyzes for expansion of endoscopic spinal surgery indication. In this study, generation one of transformer endoscopic lumbar disectomy, including intramna, can cure 75% of degenerative spine disease that require the surgery and shows uh, good to excellent clinical results. Now let's look at the history of transformer endoscopic disectomy. Yes, the transformal endoscopic lumbar disectomy begins, begins with the pelvic cambium introducing the safety triangle. However, uh, the true visualized endoscopic spinal surgery begins with Antonio, who is also the founder of the inside out approach. But uh, however, uh, because of the, the anatomical limitations of the uh, inside out transformal approach, the access here Excess area uh, are were restricted, and for this reason, indication of transformer endoscopic lumbar disectomy also or, or also limited. To overcome this, uh, uh, Thomas Hoagland introduced an outside-in approach, and also uh, 2018, I introduced a mobile outside-in approach with the, the advantages of inside-out and outside-in approach, and. Now we can access all part of lumbar disc herniation through a transformal approach. And also advances in dressing endoscopic spine surgery have made it possible to cross over near all bony obstacles. In addition, the mobile outside in approach allows the access to almost all area of lumbar disc herniation like this. Uh, there are, uh, in the transformer approach, there are three different routes in the transformer approach. Uh, this is my paper published in World Neurosurgery. In this paper, we can see the uh, an intervertebral route is a previous, previously used in transformer approach. However, uh, foraminal to superior migrated HMP should use the foraminal route, and the inferior migrated HMP should use the suprapedicular route to easily resolve the regions. From now, we will discuss the cases. 
Yes, this uh, six, eight year old female patient came with a highly inferior migrated disc cases. Uh, in, uh, like this in uh, cases in the conventional transformer approach, this highly migrated HMP was not easy to remove. Uh, however, as I introduced uh, to Biomed Re uh, Research International, if we use the supra pedicular circumferential opening technique here, uh, uh, we can uh, selectively uh, uh, resolve uh, only uh, the rupture region without damage the disc uh, like this. And also this 37 year old uh, male patient um, uh, had, uh, had an open disectomy before and was uh, recently came with a recurrent uh, highly inferior migrated HMP. In this record, recurrent uh, HMP, uh, if the supra-pedicular circumferential opening technique uh, like this, we, if we use, the region can be effectively resolved without further damage to the motion segment like this. And also this 43 year old female patient came with uh, severe pain caused by foraminal to superior migrated cases. In the, these cases, also if we use the uh, foraminal route, we can be uh, uh, solve this problem uh, easily and uh, safely. Uh, this 30 year female patient uh, had a lesion, you can see here this all four corner like this uh, superior and inferior and ipsilateral and contralateral. In this case is also nowadays uh, we can solve this problem effectively by the using the mobile outside in transformer technique. In conclusion, uh, degenerative lumbar disconnection can now be effectively solved using the mobile outside in approach, three different route, endoscope drill, and the target oriented in the uh, endoscopic transformer approach. Through this, uh, sorry. Yeah, through this, uh, sorry, <laughs> through this, we can really minimize the option, uh, less neural attractive and preserve the functional segment, preserve the neurological stream and the return to normal life can be implemented. Thank you for your kind attention.